friends! So today we are going to be trying out some very, very funky things that I finally got in the mail. First things first, uh, I apologize if my camera work is a little shoddy. I'm trying out something and it may or may not work, but I figured that I would, you know, give it a go. Uh, two, if you hear clicking clacking in the background or possibly that lovely sigh, that was my dog Enzo. And, um, yeah, so let's get into things. Okay, so I've got some watercolor paper here, and I've got a lovely little, it's a Martel number two, sorry, trying to find the camera. Martel number two, that will read. Um, and this was actually sent in the set uh, of paints that I got doo -doo 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 -doo, from a company called Beam Paints. And it came in this little cardboard uh, box, which is a little bit out of reach right now, so I won't uh, show you that, but it's not super important. Um, but all of these, so the, here's one of the paint stones. Let me see. Oh, no, there we go. There's the side of the camera. I'm using my phone to record, so I'm trying to figure out how to do things. Um, I don't know if this is going to focus. There we go. So it comes in this little beeswax wrapper. Come on, focus. I don't know if you're going to focus. There it goes. So it comes in this lovely little beeswax wrapper, and then the actual watercolor itself is right in the middle. And then, so everything in this line is one, owned by an indigenous woman, which, you know, A plus, hooray. And then everything else is also plastic free or as plastic free as you can get. The only bit of plastic that I had was the nub that came on the top of this, uh, brush, which I think is pretty good. Uh, the other cool thing too is, look at look at this. So this is one of the duos that I got, and it is a gold and silver duo, and I'm super excited for this one because like, oh, I just, I, I can't, I can't even. I just, I love metallics in general. There's actually a rose gold in here too, which I'm very excited about, but like that gold, I have so many like, deities or demi deities of like anyway that I that I really want to paint I'm very excited okay so let's put this down and let's get to some so watching so I have my order here and I ordered pardon me I ordered a few different things I'm gonna have to cut that out uh, so there's the birch palette do 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 right Hooray. And then there are the paint stones. Dun, 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 dun. I'm actually not sure which ones are which, and I'll have to kind of figure that out as I swatch them. Um, one of the really great things though about uh, this paint as well is that she gave me, she not only gave me a free brush, but she gave me a free paint stone to try. Now these things aren't cheap. And to actually give people like products to try, man, like her, I don't know. Her, her business model is like really, I don't know, it just makes you feel like part of the family. Like, oh, you gave me a free paint? That's awesome. I, I just, I cannot gush enough about the ethics behind this company. Um, they use Manitolan honey and beeswax and like local, just all the local stuff that they can get their hands on. And it just makes me so happy to support someone uh, who is, yeah, doing doing good stuff. So, and there's my dog drinking in the background. So I've got some water, I've got my brush, got a little bit of stuff to dab off on, and we're gonna start with the paint stones themselves. And then I'm gonna end off with the gold and the silver because I, I don't know how that's gonna go. Okay, so I'm, I don't know if you can see that. Just getting, loading up the brush. And I'm just, it's taking a little bit more water to activate than I thought. That's okay. Oh, that's so nice. I'm sure you can see that here. Let me move that out of the way so you can get more light in there. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to activate things. Enzo. Shh. It's going to take a little bit of time to activate things to get them as pigmented, but look at that friggin' color. It's beautiful. So one of the really cool things about this line is that it's all hand poured um, and they are 
really, really, really pigmented. Like this will go on and on and on. Like I'm just putting water on my brush at this point and it's like still going. <laughs> It's beautiful. So that one looks like it is Mayan Indigo Gold. So I actually uh, came to know the these uh, paint stones in this set from Beam Paints from uh, a YouTuber, which I'll see if I can find her link and kind of show you guys the set that she used. Um, there's travel kits as well that are all plastic free that I'm hoping to invest in in the near future. And I'm very excited to do so. Okay, so this is probably, so that looks like it might be mine indigo gold, or it might be mine green, give me a second. This is why, I guess that's the only like downside I can see is that it's not really list, or maybe it is listed somewhere here, I'm just not seeing it. It's not listed on like the individual wrapper, but I mean, the thing with that is that you could always swatch them and then get a palette and then just like put a label on the palette or like write something that you can remove. Oh my goodness, that looks beautiful. So this one, I think this, yeah, this one is the Mayan Indigo Gold. Now, I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna pick up in the, in the actual swatch, but this has, oh man, this has a really beautiful gold, fleck to it like a gold reflect i don't know if it come on focus here to focus you jerk come on oh, my camera hopefully going to be getting a new camera soon so that i can actually show these off anyway um there is a gold there's gold flecks in here and i would just freaking love it if it would focus dang it <laughs> But I could show you the flecks. There it goes. So there's these lovely gold flecks in there. And now you can see them now. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. So the first one was Mayan green and the next one's Mayan indigo gold. And the reason I got these ones first was because apparently these ones are limited edition in that, or not limited edition, but like the people who make the pigments, um, wherever she's getting them from, have kind of slowed down and or stopped. Um, so I bought these ones before they stopped producing them, and I am super glad that I did. So this one is the Mayan Red. Oh, man. Very excited about this. Oh, oh yeah. Pardon my uh, inappropriate sounds. <laughs> It does take a little bit of time to actually wet them and get them going. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm so, so excited to do pieces with these. And I will be buying more of these. They are not inexpensive, but to me, for making a sustainable brand, for making something that, that works so well, it's super worth it. Uh, this is Deep Yellow. This is the one I got for free along with this lovely brush. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, I am in love with that color. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God. I am a sucker for bright colors and that yellow is speaking to me on all kinds of levels. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then finally for the paint stones set, there is Mayan Rose Gold. I've got little flecks of uh, gold floating around in my, in my water now, which I'm gonna have to work on later. So this Mayan Rose Gold looks like it's a metallic. Oh, oh, that's nice. You can't really see it from where you are right now, uh, how lovely this is, but I assure you, it is very pretty. Oh, man. 
These are great. There's actually a bunch of new sets on uh, beam paints now. One of them is uh, Earth Tones. Let's see if I can maybe like scoot you guys in a little more. Oop. Sorry for the shoddy camera work. I'm using my phone to record and not doing the best job, but at least uh, attempting. See if this will focus. Come on, focus. You can do it, I believe in you. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And last but certainly not least, as I clunk around, we have the silver and gold duo. I'm gonna do the silver first and the gold last because that is what is calling to me. I'm very, very, very excited about that gold. Oh, I can't wait. And Enzo clanking around. He's probably going to go drink some water in a second. There he goes. Anyone with mesophonia, guard your ears. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Look at how opaque that is. Oh, frick, that's gonna be beautiful. I'm very excited about this. Pardon my uh, horrendous amounts of excitement, but I am like over the moon excited about this. I've seen a lot of really graphic um, watercolor paintings and illustrations that have been, um, that have used these like metallic watercolors and I have just, I've wanted to use them so much. I haven't had the chance. Oh, do you see the shine? Now, part of that shine is because it's wet, but like, it's definitely, the camera is definitely not doing it justice. It's so beautiful. If it would just focus. Come on now. Gosh, darn it. All right, it's not. Is it not the focusing? Come on. Let's see if I can take some pictures with like a flat there. There you go. Look at that. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay. And last but not least, the gold. Ooh, I'm excited. Maybe I shouldn't be this excited, but I don't care. Do other people get as excited as I do about new art supplies? Anyone else feel like they're for, again, opening things on Christmas morning when they get to, like, play with new paints? Hope that's not just me. That's so interesting. That's not as opaque as a silk. I'm probably, I probably watered it down far too much. Yeah, I've, I've watered that down just a little too much. It's really pretty, I just haven't gotten the right formulation of water to paint yet. That's the only downside about new watercolor paints is that you need to kind of activate them a little bit. Spend some extra time working them through. There we go. There we go, that's much better. It's very pretty. It's not as opaque as the silver. However, I have a feeling that is user error and not the fault of the paint. <laughs> I am also very new to watercolor, so there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things that I definitely don't want to uh, blame the paint for. That is a really pretty color though. Yeah, the uh, the way that this reflects on the light is really beautiful. Let's see if I can capture it again. There you go. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, I have a feeling that it doesn't look as opaque because of the 
the shine. Like it's gonna, you can see it, it's more opaque if you actually get the ratios correct. I'm just bad at it. Oh, I'm so excited to use that. But yeah, so there we go. We have all the swatches. We have Mayan green, Mayan indigo gold. This is gonna go in and out of focus a whole bunch. Uh, Mayan red, come on, deep yellow, or wait, I think this might be Mayan rose gold, and this is Mayan red. I'm not doing this uh, company justice, clearly. <laughs> uh, a silver from the silver du uh, gold duo, and then the gold, and it is really beautiful. Yeah, from the way that it looks in the print off, I think this might be the Mayan rose gold. And this is the Mayan red. I am bad at this. This one just looks a little more like it has reflex in it. So it might be the rose gold. Yeah, we'll see. I could also be, again, futzing up some of this, but it's... They're just really beautiful and they're really pigmented and I really love them and go support beam paints. Um, again, they're not super cheap, but you can get um, like a little birch. It basically looks like cut out like this, except it's, it's larger. So it's like a big old circle around. It's called a mini birch cookie. And I think it's got like, I'm not sure if it's 10 or 12 different like mini samples of paints for about $60. So if you're really new to beam paints or like um, want to try like a really nice watercolor, uh, maybe try something like that. And then you can kind of get into it that way. And then you can make different pieces and you can replace um, different colors as you go. Uh, the paint stones themselves, I believe they run about 12 bucks a stone. I could be wrong. I will list yawn prices and uh yeah i just highly recommend them go paint some things go make some art go change the world bye friends i can't even get my whole hand in there bye friends <laughs>